hi lovely welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'm gonna show you how to make this lace bralette the sewing pattern is available to download in the description below if you like this video please make sure to like share and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you now let's get started write down the material until you will need we're going to start off by cutting your bralette your lace Cut two pairs and make sure your lace are matching. So which direction you cut in, you should do this way because you want to make sure the design is all the same. One thing that I like to do, I just place the pattern that I just cut so that way I'll have a match lace. So after you cut your lace, you should have your hook and eyes and then make sure it's the same length as your elastic that we're going to use for your under bust band. So those measurements can be found on the sewing pattern or you can measure your under bust to get the right length. Cut your elastic length. and we need to fold it. So whatever measurement is your elastic, we need to double that and then plus one centimeter. What I like to do, I personally like to cut my bun longer than my elastic because that way I have enough. So you should have all those pieces. Fold your band in half and then place your elastic on the top and then going to stitch along. If you're a beginner, you can always um, stitch the band first and then attach the elastic afterward. Now let's go ahead on the sewing machine. Sorry, I'm going to use a overlocker, but if you don't have overlocker, you can use your sewing machine, but just make sure your sewing machine is set to a zigzag stitch. And please do not stretch the elastic. You don't need to stretch the elastic, just stitch normal because if you do straight the elastic it's going to give that very horrible look and you don't want that in your under bust band so now trim the excess fabric if you done like i did now turn your band right side out So there you are, we're going to save this for later. So now place your bralette, lace, right side together. Pin and we're going to stitch along those similar ones. Repeat with the other one, right side together, and then pin on the sides. I'm also going to use my 
overlocker but if you don't have an overlocker you can use a zigzag stitch in your sewing machine And then when you do stitch just make sure you pull slightly because we just want to stretch the, la the lace because when, when we wear it's not the thread is not going to come out so just pull a little bit I'm just stretching a little bit not too much Now we need to cut the shoulder stripes. Cut the two length of the shoulder strap elastic around 42 centimeters long, each depend on the length of your torso. If you don't know how long you want it, you can always shake your brush stripes and then just cut that length. Now measure around two to two and a half centimeter for the small stripes we're going to use at the back. Cut two. So basically, the shiny one, this shiny side is always the right side, and then the other side is the inside. Place your elastic through the slider so your elastic right side should face towards you and then pin. You can leave around the two to three centimeter, whatever is comfortable for you. So if you pull the elastic through the slider, now to the other side. And we're going to stitch. So we're going to stitch around here where I'm putting the pins. To find the measurement for your shoulder strap elastic, I recommend that you shake your bra so you have the, the right length. Now put a, the elastic through the ring and we're going to put it through the, the slider and make sure the right side is facing you again. And then just put it through the other side and then push so your brush stripe is done now okay i'm gonna do again if you pull your ring now put the other end through the slider on the right side of the stripe should facing you on the side that we just stitched should be inside the stripes I'm gonna show you guys again it's very simple to do this once you see once and then you do it just make sure you're trying free time before you actually make your stripes
now place your stripe at the end of your bralette right side together then we're going to stitch repeat with the other one place your stripe with the bralette lace right side together like this and stitch you can use a normal stretch stitch but just make sure you back stitch I do it twice <laughs> repeat with the other one now if you look here we're going to fold the stripe inside the bralette like this then we're going to stitch just to hold the stripes so it's going to give a really nice finished look just stitch by there back stitch So now we're going to attach our band so fold your band half and then fold in half again from the middle one or we just put a pin place a pin and then fold in half on the other side as well So place your bralette I just had to repin it because I pinned on the right side so I'm going to pin it inside so you should do that just to make it easier So now place your lace from the middle pin and then pin on the side you're probably going to notice that it's going to have a lot of um, lace on the middle. Don't worry about it because when we're going to stitch, we're going to stretch the band to fit. Because usually on the middle of the bra, uh, that's where you have like a gathering. But we don't need to do that because we have elastic, we're just going to stretch. And then overlap the other side from the middle of the bralette just like that so you should leave around like one centimeter seam allowance and then stitch along I am going to use my cover stitch which I don't use very often like to be honest guys this is my most expensive sewing machine like that I bought and I hardly use this cover stitch so if you don't have a cover stitch machine you can use a twin needle on your sewing machine or a normal needle just make sure it's a stretch needle and then use a zigzag stitch And then when you stitch, just keep checking that the lace is stitching together with the band. And I really, really like how this bra turned out, especially that I use my cover, cover stitch machine. And it 
it came out really really good i'm like in love with this bralette i can't wait to make it red <laughs> Okay, now just trim the excess lace if you have I just have a little bit so I'm just going to carefully trim the excess lace Now fold in half, we need to find the length for the stripe for us to attach the stripe at the back. Fold in half and then place a pin. Now get your small elastic, put it through the ring at the back and then place on the band. Repeat with the one, put the elastic through the ring and then place at the back stripe. Now go ahead in the sewing machine and stitch along. I am using a straight stitch and just make sure you backstitch Now we're going to attach the hook and eyes. Put it through your band. So if you have the right measurement with your elastic, so it should fit perfectly like my one is. Just get something to help you pull it through. Now we're going to stitch along. So when you buy your eyes and hooks, just make sure your elastic is the right length because you don't want to buy too small to bigger than your elastic. Okay. So you might have to use your zip foot like I just changed here. And we're done, well done. So here's the final product. I really, really love this bralette, guys. It's super easy to do and I love it.